Hi, Scott Erickson, Technical Marketing Engineer for Pulse Secure. Today we're going to look at the Pulse Secure browser. The Pulse Secure browser is a mobile browser that can be used to connect an iOS device back to the corporate network. The browser can be used to do many activities that require a VPN connection. Sounds a lot like the Pulse VPN client, right? It is similar, but with a few key differences. The full Pulse Secure VPN client is used to create a layer 3 VPN, one in which all data traffic from the device travels back over the VPN to the corporate network. The Secure Browser makes a Layer 4 VPN where only browser traffic can go back over through the VPN. First, this type of connectivity, Layer 4, is best used, for example, by contractors. Contractors may use their device to connect to two or three different corporate networks. Second, it can be used in place of an MDM EMM solution for VPN connectivity specifically. Some users may already have an MDM, or the end user may just not want to install an MDM EMM solution on their personal device. With a secure browser, you can get the benefits of an MDM EMM solution with respect to the VPN connectivity without the, all the other features, apps, and profiles that come along with the basic MDM EMM solution. So let's take a look at a few features that are found inside the web browser. First, the discovery server. This allows end users to provision the VPN profile into the browser by using only their corporate email address. This is the same discovery server that can be used to provision PWS accounts. Of course, end users are not required to use this. They can input the VPN host profile manually if they want to. Bookmarks. The admin can define bookmarks on the gateway, which will be pushed into the browser. These are the same bookmarks that are found when an end user logs into the gateway on their PC web browser, as shown here. Device compliance. The admin can force basic mobile host checks on the device to ensure the device compliance before the VPN tunnel is used by the end user. Licensing. The secure browser is free to download and use, though the gateway it connects to does need to have licensing to support the VPN connections. It uses the same licensing that all other mobile and remote VPN connections use. So now let's take a look at the web browser in action. Here, I'm going to log into the browser with, uh, through the gateway with my AD credentials. And then as we come to the bookmarks or favorites, you can see that I have the same list of bookmarks that we saw earlier. As well, the end user can add their own custom bookmarks to this application itself. Thank you, and please feel free to reach out to a Pulse Secure rep or visit pulsesecure.net for more information.